Uncle Larry coming at you on a uh, Monday night. This poor old amp is blowing up. It's an old Premier, what's it called? The Twin Six that a buddy of mine gave me. Cool old amp, but I think that speaker's blown up. But anyway, hope you guys are doing great. Um, thank you for all the kind words regarding my um, little acoustic video I put up uh, yesterday. And um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna I'm gonna put up a little uh, clip I took at the session today. I got a whole week of sessions at Sound Emporium Studio in um, in Nashville working for a guy named Will Hogue. You guys remember him? Amazing singer songwriter. He's producing a guy named Dave Hawes, and uh, we got a cool little band, and we're having a good time. But uh, just a little jam for you, um, some nasty old blues. You know what I was thinking about? I listened to uh, Working for MCA like three times this morning on the way in, and uh, man, what an awesome track, that old Leonard Skinner song. And uh, Gary Rossington was, was the master at... at at bending the tonic, right? Like on that track, like uh, remember working for MCA, it's like, um, and I'll just do a rough version of it here. It's like, could be, right? But he would start off with like, he'd be like, uh, Step back. It's a very cool, creepy effect when you can when you can take your root note of the key you're in, bend it up a whole step or half step. It's just a very cool sound. Tony Iommi used to do that a lot too, like in the early Black Sabbath, like on um, like on War Pigs, you know, in the key of E. You know, the speaker's got like an octaver effect on it because it's so blown up. But he'd be like, um, you know. Taking your root note and then bending it up, which is something that a lot of people don't do, you know, because you, it's not really like a, like a, a common thing in blues, right? In blues, you got like your root note, and then you sort of play things around it. But you rarely go. It's a cool sound. Stay tuned for a little clip. What's your name? Sadler. Sadler. Caden. 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 <laughs> what do you have here? Um, these are my drawings. Yeah. Yes. My chart. Cryptic drawings from a cave. Hieroglyphics. Yes. Uh, are you about to play something on the song? Yeah, but I'm only waiting till the very end. Oh, like a timpani player in yeah. the orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when so you I'm go just going to gonna sit it, here until I feel... Yes, inspired. Yeah, inspired, yeah. And when you go to play it, what are you going to play? Should I play it now while he's... <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here, Sadler? <laughs> Am I on input? You're on Am input. Am I live? Yeah, you're on input. What are we doing here? Are we live? So there's a guy playing piano in here. Got the old AC30 going today. I don't trust that guy. I was playing acoustic in here. To the old 67, which is a fine microphone. <clears throat> Working here with uh, Will Hogue, producing a project at Sound Emporium. Here's the cartridge cases. Uh, 
they bring in for us, which is quite nice. And here's the lounge of the Sound Emporium Studios, which is one of the most respected, oldest studios in Nashville. They've even got a queen chair over here. One of the guys at the front desk. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, how are you? What are you, what are you eating here? Oh, those are donuts from our staff. Meeting, oh, okay, though. right. There's more studios down that hallway, which is nice. And, uh, the lounge kitchen, which is replete with coffee. I'll, I'll take you into the control room. There's a whole another studio over here, man. Probably closed, yeah? Uh, there's nobody in there right now, but there will be in a little bit. How about a quick tour? Yeah. Through the okay. phone, all right? <clears throat> this is the A room, yeah? Cowboy Jack Clements old room. And uh, <clears throat> do a lot of sessions in here over the years, my God. Here's your uh, live room. And here's your control room with the newly installed API they put in here. But this is a great, great little studio. So this is the A room and the one we're working across is the, the hallway there is a B room. But we got old Sadler Vaden on the guitar. He's a sweet kid. He plays with uh, the Jason Isbell band. And I've known Will Hogue for many years, man. He's, he's an amazing singer, artist, his own rep, but he's producing today. Um, I'll take you in the control room here. This session update from your old Uncle Larry. 